Have you ever wondered how the realms of dreams and reality merge in the world of art? This uncanny fusion is the hallmark of Max Ernst's work. A German painter and sculptor, Ernst was audacious in his critique of Western culture, using his experiences in World War I to craft irrational and dreamlike imagery. A pioneer of both the Dada and Surrealist movements, Ernst's creative exploration of the unconscious and his daring social commentary remain influential to this day. Let us delve into the life of this extraordinary artist who dared to challenge the norms of his time. Born in 1891, Max Ernst's early years were shaped by the cultural milieu of Germany. As a young man, he was deeply influenced by the tumultuous times he lived in, particularly the devastation of World War I. This harrowing experience forged a critical view of Western culture within him, a perspective that would heavily influence his later works. In addition to his direct experiences, Ernst also pursued academic studies in philosophy and psychiatry. These fields provided him with a rich tapestry of ideas and theories about the human mind and society. His studies in philosophy instilled in him a profound understanding of the complexities of human thought and behavior, while his exploration of psychiatry introduced him to the mysteries of the unconscious mind. These academic pursuits, coupled with his lived experiences, began to shape Ernst's artistic vision. The irrationality of war, the depth of human consciousness and the absurdities of society, all these elements began to seep into his artwork, giving birth to a unique style that was both provocative and innovative. He began to experiment with dreamlike imagery, creating art that was a reflection of his inner world and his critique of the world around him. These experiences, combined with his studies, laid the foundation for Ernst's exploration of the irrational and dreamlike in his art. Ernst's journey into the art world was far from conventional. Indeed, this German artist took the creative path less traveled. Leaving his homeland, he ventured to France, where his artistic prowess truly began to take shape. It was here that Max Ernst became a key figure in the Dada and Surrealist movements. These were not just art styles for Ernst. They were a means of expressing his profound critique of Western culture and a way to channel the experiences and traumas of World War I into irrational, dreamlike imagery. Ernst was not just a painter and sculptor. He was an innovator. His works, like the hauntingly surreal Here Everything Is Still Floating, the strikingly bizarre The Elephant Celebes and the uncanny Ubu Imperator were far from ordinary. They were a testament to his ability to break the mold, to venture into the uncharted territories of the mind and the canvas. His other notable pieces, such as The Nightingale, The Virgin Spanking the Christ Child, Forest and Dove, and Fireside Angel, further demonstrated his unique approach to art. They were a reflection of Ernst's exploration of the unconscious, his desire to delve into the dream world, and his ability to weave social commentary into his art. But Ernst's genius was not confined to his art. He was also an ardent chess player, devoting time to understanding and mastering the game's intricacies. Perhaps this strategic mindset is what helped him navigate the tumultuous waters of his life and career, especially during World War II, when he was labelled an enemy alien. Despite being labelled an enemy alien during World War II, Ernst's artistic spirit remained unbroken. His dedication to his craft, his exploration of the unconscious, and his critique of society all remained as steadfast as ever, etching his name in the annals of art history. Max Ernst's influence on the art world extends far beyond his lifetime. Born in Germany, Ernst was a man who consistently pushed the boundaries of artistic expression, using his experiences in the Great War to craft irrational, dreamlike imagery that served as a critique of Western culture. His work was provocative and innovative, pioneering both the Dada and Surrealist movements. He was not afraid to challenge the status quo, creating masterpieces like Here Everything Is Still Floating, The Elephant Celebes and Ubu Imperata that continue to captivate audiences with their intricate detail and thought-provoking themes. But Ernst was not just a painter and sculptor, he was also a devoted chess player, spending countless hours studying and playing the game. His love for chess was not separate from his art, but rather intertwined with it. 
The strategic thinking, the complexity, and the unpredictability of the game mirrored his approach to his craft. Ernst was an experimental artist, always seeking new ways to express his ideas and feelings. This experimental spirit is perhaps Ernst's most enduring legacy. His willingness to break with tradition, to explore the unconscious, and to use art as a form of social commentary has influenced countless artists who have followed in his footsteps. Even today his work continues to be studied, admired and emulated, a testament to his enduring impact on the art world. Max Ernst, a man who dared to challenge the norm, continues to inspire artists to this day.